AGI and super intelligence. Like you'll hear leaders of companies say we've achieved AGI and we're moving on to super intelligence. Or like it's really exciting that someone stopped working on AGI and started working on super intelligence. So I think these terms are totally meaningless. I don't know what AGI is. I don't know what super intelligence is. It sounds like a marketing term. It is it's marketing. A, yeah, it's, it sounds like you know something something designed to activate people's people's dopamine. So you'll see in public I never use those terms. You know I'm I'm, I'm actually you know careful to criticize the use of those terms. I think despite that, I am indeed one of the most bullish about AI capabilities improving very fast. The thing I think is real that I've said over and over again is the exponential. The idea that every few months we get an AI model that is better than the AI model we got before and that we, we get that by investing more compute in AI models, more data, more new types of training models. Initially, this was done by what's called pre-training, which is when you just feed a bunch of data from the internet into the model. Now we have a second stage that's reinforcement learning or test time compute or reasoning or whatever you want to call it. I, I think of it as a second stage that involves reinforcement learning. Now both of those things are scaling up together, as we've seen with our models and as we've seen with models from other, from other companies. And I don't see anything blocking that the further scaling of that. 